guys, it's Harriet here. I'm a senior dinghy instructor. Sadly, due to the current circumstances, we can't teach sailing on the water. So today we're going to look at how to use the sailing school on the virtual regatta app to teach the principles of sailing to people who are relatively new to it. If you haven't already set up an account, pause this video here, go and look up previous videos and how to do it. So let's have a look. First thing is to click on sailing school. As you can see, the sailing school is split up into two different sections. How does the boat advance and the regatta? Each section is then split into tasks, which can be related to once on water. Best thing is you can complete this task as many times as you want without having to wrestle into your wetsuit. First of all, we're going to have a look at points of sale. Let's click play and see what we can learn. So as you can see on the right hand side of my screen, there is a compass which tells you the different points of sale. The windsock shows you what point of sale your boat is on. My boat is currently on a beam reach, which means that the wind is coming over the side of my boat. And now as I bear away, you can see that the windsock starts to move so that I'm going down onto a run. As I go onto the run, this means that the wind is coming over the back of the boat. I ease my sail and I'll go into a jibe. Everyone duck. Excellent. Well done guys. You've now just done your first virtual jibe and learnt the new points of sailing. Let's now look at how to sail upwind. Spoiler alert, this is where you've got to zigzag. Let's click on how to go into the wind and you can already see on the right hand side it tells us that our boat cannot sail into the wind. This is what I call the pizza slice of doom. Let's press play and explore this further. On the right hand side again we have a few of our points of sailing and there is my pizza slice of doom, the red slice at the top. We are going to start on a beam reach like we did last time and we're going to head up and as we head up we get into the close haul position however if you head up too far you go into my pizza slice of zoom the no go zone and your boat stops but this is the good thing about this being a virtual sailing app you just come out and start again in real life to get out of head to wind position you'd push push pull pull and this would get your wind back in your sails and back sailing again. So as I reload the game, as you can see, we're back on our close haul position. I'm going to sail upwind and then go in for my tack. As I tack, I am going to go through the no-go zone, but making sure that when I come out of my tack, I am back on a close haul so that the wind can get back into my sail. And we've just made some progress upwind there. And again, I'm going to go in for my tack again, making sure again I go all the way through this no-go zone, back onto my new tack and back onto close haul. Well done, guys. We made some good progress upwind there. And so we're now going to skip ahead a few stages and have a look at the regatta. And we're going to have a look at avoiding the boat in front. Now, it's just like driving a car or when your parents drive a car. You cannot crash into the car in front of you. Exactly the same in sailing, otherwise it can get quite expensive. So let's click play and have a look at this rule of the road. So once it loads up, you can see that I am the boat behind and there is a boat in front of me. I'm going to have to avoid this boat in front of me. I have two choices. I can either go to the left, the port side or the right the starboard side. As you can see, I chose to go to the right, I overtook the boat and I kept nice and clear. So we're going to learn another one now, port versus starboard. It's quite a hard one to start with, but as soon as you get your head around it, it's an easy one. So port and starboard are just different tacks, but starboard boat always has a right of way. So let's click play and let's see what we can learn. So when it loads up, this is me in front of us in the red boat and I am on a port tack. I know this because the wind is coming over the left hand side of my boat. The boat in the distance or in the 
on the box in the green is on starboard. Again, this is because the wind is coming over the right hand side of the boat. A nice way I like to remember this is on the right, in the right. So let's have a look what to do. So I'm going to have to avoid this boat. I'm going to bear down. I'm going to go duck under, that, under the back of them and come up. So I'm now back on my proper course and I had to avoid them because I was on port and they were on starboard. Let's have a look at another scenario. So again, I'm the red boat here. I'm on port again because the wind's coming over the left hand side and the boat in the distance is on starboard because the wind is coming on the right hand side. However, in this scenario, I'm not going to be able to get below the boat and duck them. So I'm going to have to think about doing something else. So in this scenario, I decided I'm going to have to put in a tack to avoid this boat. So here we go, in for my tack. Oh, and just missed the boat. Off I go sailing again. So my third and final scenario we'll have a look at. And this one, to make it a bit more complicated, they've added spinnakers into it. So again, I'm the red boat in front of us and we're on the port tack because the wind's coming over the left-hand side of the boat. And the boat in the background is the starboard boat because the wind's coming over the right-hand side of the boat. And this time, I've got two choices. So I can either go behind the starboard boat and duck them or... Because we've got spinnakers, I'm going to have to jibe off. So I can have a jibe off. So I chose on this scenario to go in for a jibe. So here I am. Go in for my jibe. Nice. So I missed them quite nicely there. And even got a little bit of a lead. So well done, guys. That was port versus starboard. And remember, if you're on the right, you are in the right. That's it from me guys, this was a brief overview on how you can use the VR Sailing School to teach the key principles of sailing whilst we can't get on water. If there are any clubs and centres out there watching, please feel free to share this video with your members, but also think about how you could use the Sailing School as a club or centre to keep your new members engaged during this difficult period. Maybe set up a conference call to talk them through the tasks, or even record some of your own videos. You never know, you might see your new members on your virtual race course sooner than you thought. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a like. If you have any questions, please comment them below. And if you are enjoying the co contents that we are putting out there, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you for listening guys, see you soon.